Now, despite the lockdown in Delta State over COVID-19 pandemic, suspected headsmen weekend, uh, on weekend stormed Azagba Ogwashi community and Yocha South local government area of the state, abducting a drink distributor, Greg Azubike. Azubike's kidnap came on the heels of the killing of a poultry farm manager and night guard by suspected headsmen who invaded the Isele Azagba farm last Wednesday. Lawrence Ojashi was kidnapped on April the 8th at the Admiralty neighborhood estate Ibusa and released only after a ransom of 150,000 naira was paid. To discuss this matter, we have joining us via phone Bala Ado, who is the secretary of Fulani Community, Enugu State. Good morning, Mr. Ado. Uh, good morning. Nice having me on your program. Good to have you this morning. Well, we are Thank facing you. an unsettling time, and also uh, during this time, we recognize that it is the holy month of Ramadan. How seriously should we be taking news of suspected herdsmen continue, continuing a reign of terror, so to speak, in Delta State? Uh, thank you very much. Um, I wish uh, uh, Nigerians a uh, happy Ramadan period, and I... I also pray that this uh, uh, pandemic that is ravaging the world now, especially around our communities in uh, Nigeria, I hope we observe all the necessary uh, health-related uh, uh, protection or safety measures so that we will come out of this thing soonest. Um, just like you mentioned about the uh, issue of headsmen, uh, it's unfortunate that we are facing the issue of uh, this pandemic, and we as Muslims, we are in this uh, month of Ramadan, which is one of the holiest months we have in, the, in our faith. That uh, issue of headsmen, killing, doing this, doing that, is unfortunate. Yeah. And uh, just like you said, I'm from Enugu. And uh, the measures that the state and the Fulani community living in Enugu state, I think if it is adopted in other places, I mean in other states, it will go a long way in curbing these issues of incidences of this uh, harassment. Because in Inugu State, when we had issues like this, the state government engaged the leadership of headsmen in Inugu State. And to that extent, it has brought the, the, the issues of headsmen clashes with farmers or communities as the as they operate within to the barest minimum. Because Inugu State has not been in the map again that headsmen kidnapped this, the headmen killed this, the headmen raped rap this person, headsmen did this, headsmen did that. It is not because of anything, but it's because of the ingenuity of the state and the leadership of the headsmen in Inugu State. And I think if Delta State will copy from that, because I'm sure, just like we have in Enugu State, we, we equally have such leadership in, a, in Delta State. If the state can engage them, know what is the problem. Identify the headers that are resident in, in Delta State so that they can come up with a committee that will oversee some of these things and they will be engaging themselves from time to time, which will now offer solutions to some of these issues of headsmen and, and uh, communities. Mm -hmm. But the criminality aspect of it is what is alarming. Because you can imagine somebody coming to kidnap, coming to force people to ask them to cook for them before they will eat and then kidnap these people. Which means the security architecture around these communities is, is, is nothing to write home about. Mm -hmm. If kidnappers can come in, ask the community, cook for us, we eat, after eating, then we, they, will, they will not kidnap their, whoever they want, and they will go scot-free. It means there is a problem. So there is more to it than just head men. All right. It is easy to mention. It is very easy to mention head men. Because people, so many communities have been using this to cover up so many things. Once it is mentioned head men, every attention now goes to head men. But I am of the opinion that if if the security architecture can, can sit up, there, are, there, there, there will be more to it than just headsmen. 
you, Mr. Ado, if I may yeah. ask you that, if uh, Mieti Allah Hetzman are not responsible for what is being termed as a reign of terror, then who is? Okay. The thing is that if Hetzman are mentioned, whether it is a Mieti Allah, whether it is a non Mieti Allah, it is Hetzman. So what we are saying is that I may not speak on behalf of Mieti Allah anyway. But what I'm saying is that as a full man and as a headsman, I will share my own opinion. Just like I've earlier said, in any state, what we have been doing and the, the level we have gone in this issue of headsmen and farmers, I think what I will say here is that it's not the issue of whether Mieti Allah or this. We are talking about uh, headsmen who are known to be rearing cows. And unfortunately, most of these uh, people that are perpetrating these evil acts even those that are arrested, you may even find them not connected with the herdsmen that are rearing cows in the bush. They may not even have anything, any cow in, in, that, in those areas. Yeah. They'll just come from, from nowhere, do what they will do and go. But what we are saying is that there is more to it than just being herdsmen. Because the security has to, have to come up, have to, dis, have to sit up. And that can only be achieved if the state, I mean, like Delta, if they can engage, like I said, the leadership of the headsmen in Indigo State, I uh, sorry, in Delta State, whether it is Mietiala, whether it is Kautal Hore, whether it is the, the normal uh, leadership of the uh, headsmen, I mean, the Arabs, the traditional rulers, I think it will go a long way in bringing a stop to this uh, menace. All right, thank you so very much, uh, Secretary to the Fulani community, Enugu State, Malam Bala Ado. Thank you for your time and keep safe. Thank you for having me.